so hello and welcome back to another video my fellow developers and in this video we'll be taking a look at wheat or white i don't know how to pronounce it but i have heard it's called wheat so it's it's a really awesome thing that i just found out so basically i i found this blog post about view wheat or view white which actually told us about um the how to set up wheat and how to use it so what is wheat now in the past i've made a video on how can you create a new view project with the help of view cli so wheat is kind of an advanced version to view cli because what it does is it uh, it is very fast first thing and uh, it i mean whenever you create uh, whenever you run your development server it is very fast whenever you um, make some changes it reflects back that is faster than view cli so you have a lot of advantages and it is a lot more uh, you know kind of scalable so you can uh, read through this blog post i'll leave this link in the description below and we also have their github page where you can actually read about the uh, wheat uh wheat is an opinionated web dev build tool that serves your code uh via es module imports uh, so uh, you can read this readme.md file which is really helpful so now let's take a look in this video we'll see view cli versus wheat so what i have is i have um basically two terminals one of them is view cli and another one is wheat so what i'm gonna do is so what i'll be doing here is in this one i'll be creating a view project with the help of ucli and the other one i'm going to create a new view project with the help of wheat so it's very simple we have installed the view cli it is just npm in uh install um at view dash cli globally okay with the dash g flag so that is going to install view cli or you can also use yarn so this is gonna do so what we're gonna do is uh, the view cli so what you can do is you can just say view create and then the project name so i'm gonna say um, view cli demo okay that's what is gonna be the project name and then hit enter that's gonna take some time and that's gonna create a new view project now we can just go to view it okay this is gonna ask you some questions so let's go with view 3 preview you can pick a preset so i'm gonna go with view 3 uh and now right here you can just say npx create dash read dash app and then you can just specify your project name so i'm gonna say read demo hit enter so that is gonna create a new read app or yeah read app and then you need to cd into that wheat demo wait a second let me just go back it's cd into wheat demo wheat demo and then right here you can just say npm install or yarn and uh, that is actually going to install every single package okay that wheat needs every dependency every dev dependency so this is using yarn here because i was uh and this is using npm let me just use yarn over here as well so that is i mean even with this one okay it says error command failed yarn so let me just try it again so does it work overwrite and the view 3 preview now when that's done i'll come back and right now and so finally the view cli demo is done and the wheat demo is also done so now let's cd into view cli uh, demo now right here what i am gonna do is now in both of these i'm gonna run up the spin up the development server so here i can just say yarn 
serve because that's the command the serve command and here we have yarn dev so the dev command so let's first of all see how long it takes for the view cli so if i hit enter let's wait for it so it's gonna first of all build those things for development and now it's right over here okay and if we open it up in our web browser let me just quickly open it up so it's local host port 8080 okay so that is view cli demo as you can see welcome to your vue.js app and now what we are gonna do is we are gonna spin up the feet uh, demo so if i hit enter now that is actually going to and and as you can see this was a lot more faster than view cli and now let's uh, let's go back let's go to the localhost 3000 so this is the wheat app okay and it's it also has this small little uh, small cool, cool little counter which shows you the count okay so this is view cli and this is wheat and now let's take a look at the changes i mean whenever we make changes what happens so let's first of all take a look at the file structure so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna say and i'm gonna put up an ls here so we have a bable config js so this is the view cli okay and then you have node modules you have package json you have public you have readme and you have source and then the log file now right here i can just say ls the same thing and here you'll find an index html node modules package json public source yarn lock so we do not have the babel config js and the index html file is outside okay so now let's take a look at i mean just uh, we are i mean the server is running right so i can just open this up okay i can just open up a file so let's cd into the source because that's what we want to edit and let's ls into that so we have app.view we have assets components and main.js <clears throat> now same here i can just cd into source and then let's ls there so that we can see so that's app view assets components index css so we have index css also where you can write the css okay so now uh, if we see if we have the app dot view file that we're gonna change and then whenever we change and then save we should see the changes right over here okay so we will be changing this message right over here this message prop so let's go back and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna open up the app dot view file inside of the terminal not inside of visual studio code because this is a small thing so i'm gonna go ahead and say nano app dot view now if you I have no idea what nano is nano is just a text editor that is inside of your terminal okay inside of git bash i don't know if uh, powershell also has that so let's hit enter and now you can see in the hello world component right here we have this message welcome to your vue.js app okay so let's change this to this oh wait a second it's a terminal so i'm gonna say this is a view cli oops cli app okay and you can see below what i mean how can i save it so so i can just press ctrl plus x and then it's gonna say save modified the buffer so i can just press y and now it is saved and as you can see it did not change right so now okay it asks so file name to write file name to write so i'm gonna hit enter and now this was fast this was quick but wheat is a lot more quicker than that let's take a look at wheat now so that's also pretty simple let's just clear this up and we have the app dot view so i'm gonna say nano app dot view the same thing so here we have the message prop hello view three plus wheat okay so yeah, one more thing wheat uses view 3 so i'm gonna say this is a wheat app wheat app and now control x yes save and then uh, let's actually move the browser right over here so that we can see the changes pretty quickly uh, yeah if i hit enter 
so this changes instantly now let me go back and show you how i mean what happens so let's go back and let's edit the app dot view again and let me just put up the view cli app again okay so here we have view cli demo and now inside of the app dot view uh very first of all let me just go inside of the hello world again and uh, or let's create a new tag okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create a new h1 tag with some simple things so this one is gonna have i am a test tag okay i'm gonna control x to save it so here we created this and then file name to write app dot view hit enter and then this takes uh, i mean some time okay the difference is long okay this is, i am a test tag this came after one or two seconds but this the wheat was a uh, wheat was too fast actually i i i noticed these changes so let's create another test tag here as well so i'm going to say h1 i i am a test tag the same thing and then control x to exit yes save it and then hit enter to save it this was fast this was very very quick so i think you got to know what the difference is now one more thing that i should tell you is if i wait a second if i just show you so here what you have to do is import hello world so whenever you import your components they should be like i mean they should have the dot view extension because uh it recognizes that by the dot view extension i don't know with the view cli maybe you do not need the dot view extension and it still works so uh but if you don't have the dot view extension inside of let me just try it out so that it we just clear the stuff up okay now this still works you don't have the dot view extension but if i go here and if i remove the dot view extension i am not sure if it will work it i don't know let's go to the v tap and now so this actually works but we when we hit refresh so this works when we refresh but this gives us an error in the console that hey i cannot find the hello world named file so that's the issue that's one of the issues with wheat uh because it's still in uh development still under development so i think this i hope this video was helpful to you give it a like if it was subscribe the channel and finally thanks for watching